we want to use the distance formula to find the distance between these two points. So recall the distance formula is this one. We have the square root of the difference in the x values and the difference in the y values. So for these points that are given to us here, we can label them any way that we want to. We can label this one x1, y1, or we can label this one x1, y1. We just can't mix and match. We can't do x1, y2, and so forth. So I'm just going to pick x1, y1 here, and then this one I'm going to use x2 and y2. So now we're going to take these numbers and we're going to put them into the distance formula to find the distance between these two points. So first, we want to be careful when we substitute the numbers in. X2 is 1, X1 is negative 2. Notice that there is a double negative here. We have to be careful with the minus minus. Okay. Then I have Y2 minus Y1. Y2 is 6 minus Y1 is 4. And now we're just ready to simplify and get the answer. Double negative means that that's going to be a 3 inside there. So I have 3 squared plus 2 squared. And then when I simplify that further, I get 9 plus 4. That's going to be equal to the square root of 13. So the square root of 13 is going to be the distance between these two points. If you have a square root that can be broken down more, it's always best to break down the square root as much as possible. In this case, square root of 13 is as far as we can go. So that's going to be our answer.